What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics materials. So today, we're trying to find the bending stress of this, uh, this cross section here. So we're gonna find the bending stress at A and at B. So we're given that the moment is equal to 40 kilonewton meters, so we have this cross-shaped thing. And the equation we're gonna be using for bending stress is moment times distance over uh, moment or inertia, right? So let's go ahead and get started with that. So what do we need to find? But well, we know moment, and we know why, right? Why is just the distance from the center to that point? So we know those two things. All we need to really find is the moment of inertia, basically. And so the equation for that is one half base height to the third. So the reason we can use this, and we don't have to use the whole extended thing for the inertia, is because we can pick our centroid, right? So that we don't have to have anything that's off the centroid. So we're gonna choose, uh, basically, we know Y bar, let's first write that. Y bar is equal to 75 millimeters. And so what is Y bar? Y bar is the distance from here to here, right? Y bar. We know it's 75 uh, millimeters, right? Because this shape is symmetrical. So this is gonna be our center of mass for the shape. Now we can choose the right shapes, right? We can choose this big rectangle, and we can choose these two squares now to be the shapes that we use, and they're both lying on the centroid. So we don't have to do the whole, um, you know, distance from Y thing. Uh, I forgot what the name of that thing is, but you know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and find the polar, or the moment of inertia now. So I bar, right, is equal to, now let's sum them up, right? So we're gonna do this for each of the three shapes, so we can factor out a 112. So now we have to do base times height for all three of these shapes. So let's start with the big rectangle. Its base is 50 millimeters, and its height is 150 millimeters, so 150 cubed. And for the other two, we're gonna add them. So we know that they're gonna be the same, right? This shape and this shape, they're both gonna have the same inertia. So we're gonna do two, then it's gonna be height, or base is 50, height is 50. So we're gonna cube the 50. And so now we have this equation. Let me run through it, make sure it's turning, yeah, it looks good. So now we get that this I bar, is equal to, and this is around a Y bar, which is that centroid. This is equal to 1.51 times 10 to the sixth millimeters to the fourth. But we want it in meters to the fourth, so we're gonna label this also 1.51 10 to the negative fifth meters to the fourth. So how you convert from millimeters to the fourth to meters to the fourth is it multiply by 10 to the negative 12. Because converting from millimeters to meters is 10 to the negative third, and then it's to the fourth, so negative three times four, negative 12. So there we go. So this is the number we're gonna use for I. So now all we have to do is plug it in. So we have two points to plug it into. Let's start with point A. So the bending stress at A is equal to moment, which is 40 kilonewtons. So we're gonna do 40,000, just to get it into normal units. Then Y, Y is the distance from here to A. So that's gonna be 75 millimeters. So 0 0.075. And then I is just gonna be the, what we need to solve for, 1.51 times the negative five. All right, so then you get that the bending stress at A is equal to 199, uh, bank, basically megapascals. I'm just gonna write it like this, but it would be 199 megapascals. Then we can go bending stress at B. We're gonna again plug in the same moment, 40,000. Now this time the distance to B is less, so the distance from B is from here to here, and that's pretty easy to see that it's 25 millimeters, so 0 0.025. That's going to be the same on the on inertia, 1.10 to the negative fifth. Basically just going to be a third of this number, and we can see that that is exactly, that's 66.2, 10 to the sixth pascals. And there we go, so we solved the problem. So not too tricky, just about uh, making sure you don't have the, um, you know, the inertia. And yeah, that's basically it. So come and check out my channel for some harder problems coming next. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.